Hello my angels, I hope you are all doing well today. Now it has been a long time since I've been this excited for a new makeup launch. Of course we are talking about Rare Beauty, Selena Gomez's new makeup line. Today we are going to do a first impressions of a full face of Rare Beauty. I'm also going to be doing a wear test where I leave the makeup on for five hours. I come back and let you know how the makeup lasted throughout the day. So if you wanna see my thoughts on Rare Beauty, just keep watching. So I did originally order online when Rare Beauty launched on Sephora. I was up till midnight ready to order and I did place an order but then it was taking a while to get here and I was right by the mall so I thought why not just stop in and pick up a few things from Rare Beauty. Okay, more than a few things to test out for you guys. I am so excited to try this line. When I first heard that Selena Gomez was coming out with a makeup line, I really wasn't very excited about it. I respect her as a artist and celebrity, but she's not someone I'm absolutely obsessed with. And I just find there's so much in terms of new beauty brands coming out right now that it was kind of like, okay, it's another beauty brand. But when they released the pictures of the products and I saw the packaging, everything changed. So I am so excited to be reviewing Rare Beauty for you guys today. Please give this video a big thumbs up before we get started. Also hit that red subscribe button down below. Thank you all so much to the people who have subscribed already and we are getting so close to a thousand. Of course we are having a big giveaway at a thousand subscribers. Enough yapping, it's time to get into Rare Beauty. I did try to get a wide range of items from the collection. I got just about one of everything. The only item I really didn't get from the collection to try was the liquid eyeliner just because that's something I don't use a lot. Now I picked up enough from the collection to do almost an entire full face. The line doesn't have bronzer or eyeshadow so I'll be using those from another brand. But for the most part, we're gonna be doing a full face of Rare Beauty. So this is what the boxes look like, just basic packaging. So the first thing we're gonna use is always an Optimist Illuminating Primer. Now another thing to mention about Rare Beauty, which I thought was an amazing part of the brand, is that they're actually focusing on mental health. So Selena Gomez and the Rare Beauty team actually created a fund in order to raise money for mental health charities and awareness, which I think is fantastic. So they've actually committed quite a bit of money, I think over the next 10 years it's about $100 million to mental health charities and to be honest I think that's something that all brands should be doing is having some cause, at least one, that they're really passionate about and that they're committing dollars to. Now about the products. Okay so this is the primer here, definitely giving me major Fenty vibes and this is supposed to be an illuminating primer which is great for me. I can always use a bit of brightening. So that's what the primer looks like there. It has quite a bit of illumination and shine to it, very pearly. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like on the skin. So I am just putting that all over the face and I had moisturized before this. So that is very, very glowing. Now it doesn't have any kind of glitter in it, thank goodness. It definitely is more of a pearlescent finish. I think that's really nice. Now I don't know if I would wear this on its own just because it's kind of giving me Tin Man vibes, but let's see how it looks with the foundation. Now I got the shade 230N and I had such a hard time picking out my shade online so I'm so glad I actually did go into store because I ordered a shade online and then I saw swatches and thought oh maybe I should order a different shade. Usually when it's hard to find shades, it's because you can't find one that matches. With Rare Beauty, I actually thought quite a few of them looked like they would match me. So that's what I found hard when I was looking online. So I'm really hoping this one matches. This is 230N. I absolutely love the packaging. I just think that's so different. And you'll see the concealer actually has a little ball on top as well, but it's like a flat one. So you can tell the difference between the concealer and foundation. I totally forgot you're supposed to shake this first. Okay, so I didn't shake it, even though I watched reviews saying that you're supposed to shake it, and it looked like something like serum -y was coming out. So you're supposed to shake it to combine that with the product, I guess. And we are going to be applying the foundation with the Liquid Touch Brush. Rare Beauty came out with a foundation brush as well as a concealer brush. I only picked up the foundation brush. Foundation brush is what looked most appealing to me. They both had the same shape, but just different sizes. This is what the foundation brush looks like. Has a very interesting shape. I think the shape will work really well to get the foundation into the little crevices of your face here. 
I'm gonna shake this again just for good measure. So again, this is 230N. I also got 230N in the concealer. I So that is what the color looks like here. And we're gonna go ahead and go in with the brush and apply that. So I think that that is a pretty good match for me. This is actually going on a lot drier than I thought it would. I already kind of have a feeling of what I might like and not like, but I might be completely wrong because you just don't know. Now I'm not taking the doe foot and applying it directly on my face. I'm just applying it on my hand and then going in with the brush. So this is a neutral shade, 230N, but it is pulling quite warm. Usually it's the warm undertones that match me in foundation, so I was quite surprised that this looked like the best match even though it was neutral, but it's because it's still pulling a bit warm. Now I am finding it's taking quite a bit of product to cover my face. It might be because the brush we're using. I'll have to try this again with a sponge. Let me know if that's something you guys want to see in the comments down below. Also, if there's ever new releases that are coming out that you'd like me to try, please let me know in the comments. I always love to hear what you guys are interested in seeing on my channel. As for shades go, I think this is a pretty good match for me. So I actually needed three different dips in the foundation just to cover my face. So I feel like a sponge may work better, but it is a super soft brush. Okay, so the foundation is a weightless foundation. Agree, it does feel weightless on the skin. With concentrated pigments that feels barely there, true, while providing buildable medium to full coverage with a natural finish. The longer I let it sit, the less matte it's looking. So I'm liking it the longer we let it sit on the face. When I first applied it, it was looking a little too matte for me but I'm starting to see more of a glow, which I like. So I think that's really nice. I think the coverage is really beautiful. I think it's definitely a medium coverage, not at all a full coverage foundation. I can still see kind of blemishes peeking through here, but we can use the concealer and cover those up. Now, concealer is something I am very, very fussy about. I do love a full coverage concealer, and I don't believe this one is full coverage, but we will see. So as I See how on the top here it has the same round thing, but this one's kind of flat. I just think it's so cute. Let me know what you think of the packaging. Do you like the packaging for Rare Beauty? Also, let me know, of course, if you've tried anything from the line or if you plan on picking anything up. Okay, so this is looking like it's going to be a good concealer shade. So that's the shade here, 230N. If it is supposed to work this way, I love that the concealer shade that should go with the foundation, they correspond in the numbers. So this one is lighter than the foundation, but you're supposed to pair this concealer with the foundation, which I do like. It makes it super easy for shade matching. I think I'm actually going to use that same foundation brush for concealer. That's what I usually do just because I find it blends everything seamlessly together and I am going to apply this with the doe foot. Now I don't usually like my concealer to be super brightening but I do like a bit of brightness. I do have pretty dark bags under my eyes so I definitely wouldn't say this is a full coverage concealer and I don't think it's supposed to be. I really think Rare Beauty is geared more towards people who want a more natural looking face. So that is what the concealer is looking like there. It kind of covered my bags. Typically I would use something with a bit more coverage. I think that concealer blended in with the foundation really well and it seems like that number corresponds with the foundation shade. So keep that in mind if you are planning on picking anything up. So in my mind, I'm comparing it to the ColourPop Pretty Fresh foundation, which is the other foundation I've tried recently, new foundation from ColourPop. And I absolutely love that foundation. I feel like it's the perfect, perfect formula for me. It gives me such a beautiful glow and kind of a medium buildable coverage. And that one's only $16. So honestly, I feel like these are doing similar things for my face and I actually think I prefer the ColourPop one. The ColourPop one's a little bit more dewy and I think that I like that one better. I mean, this is a nice foundation. I find it does give you a bit more coverage than the ColourPop one, but if you're looking for something that's a medium coverage, I would definitely try the ColourPop one for sure because they're giving me similar vibes and it's about $20 cheaper. But I mean, come on, how cute are these? I cannot get over how adorable these are. They totally nailed it with the packaging. I'm such a sucker for cute, pretty packaging, and these would just look so nice on your vanity. Now, unfortunately, this collection did not come with any sort of bronzing product, so I'm just going to go in with one of my favorites. This is the Bronzer Reloaded 
from Makeup Revolution. This is a super affordable bronzer and I use it all the time, I love it. And we are going in with a large powder brush from EIG Show. Of course, I will be linking all these products down below. Now, I have to say I am most excited for the liquid blushes and that is what we are going to do next. So I picked up two shades. I picked up Happy and Joy, and these are both the dewy formulas. So they did come out with two different formulas for the liquid blushes. They have a matte formula and a dewy formula. And of course, no surprise, I chose the dewy formula. I love a little bit of glow on the cheeks. And these have the same sort of top as the concealer, but gold. They are just so pretty. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you do. It's at JSApproved. You will see lots of photos of these coming soon. I'll be doing swatches over there as well. So these are the two colors. So the pink one is happy and this kind of peachy one is joy. Is it bad that I want to do one on each cheek? Okay, let's try happy, the pink one. And I'm definitely going to have to do another video and try Joy. So this has the doe foot just like the foundation and concealers. And what I'm actually going to do is apply this to my hand first and then go in with a brush and apply it to the cheeks. Now that is a very pigmented liquid blush. I was definitely expecting something a little more sheer, especially since the Fenty cream blushes were so sheer. And I think a lot of people were kind of taken aback by that. But these, on the other hand, are the opposite. Now, I actually wanna keep using this same brush, so let's see if we can use this for the blush as well. So you only need a tiny bit of that blush. Look, yeah, see, like, I need one brush dab to probably do both my cheeks. That's so pretty. I knew I was gonna love these. I just knew it, I knew it. You ever see a product and you're like, yeah, that's for me. Look how much is still left on my hand. You need the tiniest bit, and look how pigmented it is. Mind you, this will probably calm down in a bit. This brush is actually really nice for applying the blush as well. So I use the brush for the foundation, the concealer, and the blush. So if you do get this brush, keep in mind you can use it for a lot. I'm actually pretty impressed with the brush. More impressed than I thought I would be. So that's what the blush is looking like there. I definitely look very, very flushed. So a funny story actually about picking up this makeup. I went with my girlfriend Sam to go to Sephora and we have actually been friends since we were three years old. We've been friends basically our whole lives. And as I was picking this stuff out, I was just putting a ton in my basket. I was like, yeah, I need this, I need this, I need one of these, I need one of these. And she looked at my basket and she's like, watching you fill your basket hurts my heart. Like that is going to be so expensive. And I was like, oh my God, it hurts your heart? It warms my heart. Like I love shopping for makeup. But see, she's just not really a makeup person. So for her, it's crazy to spend that much on makeup. We are definitely different in that regard. So this is the dual ended brow product that they came out with. One end is a tinted brow gel and one end is a pencil. I will show you. The pencil actually has a really interesting shape. It reminds me of the Goof Proof Brow Pencil from Benefit, kind of a similar shape to it. And these aren't my favorite types of brow pencils. I do like something with a really precise tip, but we are still gonna go ahead and try it and I got the shade Soft Blonde. I looked in store and I was debating between Rich Taupe and Soft Blonde, and Soft Blonde actually looked a lot more cool toned than the Rich Taupe, and usually I go for the Taupe shade because I don't like something too warm, but the Soft Blonde actually looked more cool. So if you are blonde, keep that in mind. Okay, so it actually doesn't come with a spoolie, so you're gonna need a separate spoolie. That doesn't really bother me too much because I usually have a spoolie on hand. So let's go ahead and fill in the brows. So that is going on really, really pigmented. I'm really impressed with the color payoff. You guys know if you've been watching my videos for a while, there's nothing I hate more than having to scratch your skin off with a brow pencil trying to get any pigment out. But I can already tell I don't love Love the shape of this it's kind of big and bulky for my small brows I'm gonna try to just use the end tip here and see if that helps. okay that's a little better I actually find this is quite dark for a blonde color now you only need a very light hand very light hand this goes on very pigmented it is a very soft formula so depending on what kind of formula you like for your brow products I find soft products can be a little bit more difficult to use, especially when they're shaped like this. This doesn't look blonde to me. Does this look blonde to you guys? So maybe I will have to pick up the taupe one instead. So we just used the pencil side of the brow product. Now we're going to use the 
brow gel. So this is what the brush looks like here, a very tiny brush, which hopefully will make it really easy to use. Now the brow gel seems like it is a blonde color. It seems lighter than the pencil. Okay, so it doesn't seem like this brow gel is really gonna give you a lot of hold in your brows. It might, you never know. This does give my brows a really nice kind of feathered look and it is adding color. So I think this would be a nice product to maybe wear on its own. So the collection did not come with a mascara, so I'm going to apply that off camera and I'll be right back. Now, I almost forgot I did pick up one of their highlighters as well. I wasn't going to, and then my friend thought I should. I just, I wasn't really drawn to any of the colors. I found they leaned either too much yellow, too pink, too white. I just want like a basic, goldy, bronzy, champagne-y highlight, and I didn't feel like they gave us that in this collection. So this is what we chose. Sam actually chose this one, so thank you to my friend Sam. Now it is a really beautiful color, but it looks quite pink. So this is in Mesmerize, and again, it has this adorable packaging here. Now I feel like this would last you forever. This is a giant highlighter. Like this is really big. So that's the highlight compared to the concealer. Now I would think that the concealer would be bigger than the highlight. Would you guys think that? I feel like you don't need this much highlight, but you would need that much concealer. Anyway, so I'm going to just dab this on the high points of my cheeks and dab it in with my finger. That's how I usually find these products work best. This has a doe foot again, like all the other products. Now it seems like, again, a little goes a very long way. Mm, it's okay. I'm not crazy about it, honestly. I'm just not crazy about the color. I really was looking for a, a color that they did not have that I would typically go for, and maybe that's me wanting to stay in my comfort zones, but I don't usually love a really pinky highlighter. I think it looks nice with the blush because they're both pinky toned. What do you guys think? Now, one thing you can say about the highlight is you get a ton of product. This will last you forever. So I did pick up two of the lip products. I picked up one of the tinted lip balms the With Gratitude Dewy Lip Balm, and this is in the shade Blessed. And I also picked up the one of the Lip Souffles, and this is in Energize. Both pinky colors, can you tell I love pink? This one's kind of more of a corally pink. Now, really, I only was drawn to the Dewy Lip Balms. I'm more of a Dewy Lip Balm person than a liquid lipstick, but I wanted to kind of have both to test for you guys. So this is really interesting packaging. Here it looks normal, and then look at the side. So if you set this down on your countertop, it wouldn't roll away. My nails actually match this packaging perfectly. I actually didn't mean to do that. So let's go ahead and try the balm and see what it looks like. That's the color here again, so that's blessed. These actually have quite a bit of color to them, so that's what it looks like on the hand here. For a tinted balm, that actually is quite a bit of pigment, which I like, because if I'm gonna buy a tinted balm, I wanna see the tint, otherwise I'd just buy a regular lip balm. Okay, I love that. I love that. It's so comfortable, has a bit of a scent to it. None of these products really seem to have a lot of fragrance to them, which I think is a good thing. This has a tiny bit of like a sweet scent, but nothing crazy. You have to really smell to get that scent. I love that color. That is beautiful. So you still get the color and tint that you would have in a lipstick almost, but the formula of a dewy balm. I'm going to need more of these for sure. I'm also interested to see how long these last. They probably do not last that long just because this type of product wipes off easily, but you can always keep it with you and reapply. So the packaging on this feels a little different than the others. It feels really, really soft and luxurious, so I'm just gonna wipe off that balm, and I'm gonna try to apply this. I'm not gonna use a lip liner, so we'll just see how it goes. So it has a clear wand with a little doe foot at the end. Now the doe foot is actually like a triangle shape, if you can see that, which hopefully will make it easy to apply. So it definitely goes on very matte. So it is comfortable on the lips. It's actually not as dry feeling as I thought it would be, but it definitely gives you a matte finish. I actually really like that color. So again, that's Energize. That's a really pretty pink color. I felt like I didn't have a pink like this in my collection, so that's why I picked up this one. Now, I really thought these would be a lot more drying than they are. So I actually really like that formula. It feels like you're wearing nothing. It really does. And you only need a tiny bit and you get quite a bit of pigment, just like the bombs. Just for fun, Let's try the balm on top of that lip souffle. I actually like those two together. I really do. So it feels even more comfortable if you layer one of the balms on top. I definitely like something a little juicier on my lips. 
I don't like something super dry. Okay, so Rare Beauty did come out with a setting spray. That is the very last step in our routine. It is the Always an Optimist setting spray. The packaging looks like this. And we're gonna go ahead and set the face. So it has a really nice mister. It's not, you know, drowning you when you try to set your face. It does have fragrance in it. I'm trying to pinpoint what the scent is. Kind of has a spa fresh scent. I've never smelled anything like this before, I don't think. Just a very clean scent, but it goes away quickly, but gave me a very glowy look to the skin, which I like. So now I'm going to go about my day. I'm going to be eating, I'm going to be drinking iced coffees, and we are going to see how this makeup lasts throughout the day. So I'm going to come back at the end of the day and show you how the makeup did last so you can see what the wear time is like on it. So this is what we look like now, and I will see you in a few hours. Hello my loves. So it has been five hours since I originally put the Rare Beauty makeup on. Take a look. I think it looks pretty good considering five hours have passed. You can still see some of the pink lipstick on my lips, which is amazing. So I went off and I had supper. I drank iced coffee. I took peanut for a walk. And I think this stayed on really well. Looking at the foundation, it wore amazing and I actually like it better the longer I wore it. So it actually became a little more dewy and radiant the longer it seeped into my skin. At first it was looking a little bit matte, but I love it as it wears throughout the day. Also, you can still see the blush on my cheeks. So this is five hours and it's still looking pretty good. My brows stayed on perfectly and actually that brow gel held my brows longer than I thought it would. I thought my brow hairs would not stay up, but they have. So I will get close just so you can see what it's looking like. And now I'm going to go over my final thoughts with you. So the primer was nice. I would not wear this on its own, but it does look nice under the foundation. I don't think this is a must have, but if you're looking for an illuminating primer, I would say you won't be disappointed with this one, but I definitely don't think you absolutely need it. The setting spray was really nice. It had a really clean, fresh scent. I also think it helped my makeup stay on really, really well. I will continue to use this and keep you posted. The foundation and concealer worked so well together. I love that the numbers coordinate and the concealer's a little bit lighter in the same number as the foundation, so you can get the same number in both. I really love these two. The only only thing about the concealer is I wish it had a bit more coverage to it. It didn't completely cover up the bags under my eyes, but it did a pretty good job. It also blends in with the foundation really well. I really like the foundation. I think it wore really well throughout the day. I'm still not sure if I like it better than my ColourPop one. I may like the ColourPop one better, so definitely try the ColourPop one if you're looking for something that does something similar to this one. The ColourPop one has a medium coverage and it also gives you a dewy look. This one, I would say, is a little more matte than the ColourPop one, so definitely keep that in mind. So I was skeptical of the color of the highlighter and when I put it on, I wasn't really crazy about it, but when I saw it in the sunlight outside, it looked so beautiful. So I actually like this one more than I thought I would. I do wish that they had some more natural colors. I feel like these lean towards one color or the other. They're very pink, they're very yellow. They're very white. I feel, I wish that they had a few more natural colors, especially given the line is supposed to give you a more natural look, but I will continue to keep using this one. And also this will last you forever. As for the blushes, this lasted amazing on my cheeks. I love the dewy look. You also only need a tiny, tiny bit of the blush. So it will also last you a really long time. The blush applied really well with the brush from the collection, the foundation brush. I actually like that brush more for the blush than I do for the foundation. I found it ate up a lot of the product when I was applying the foundation and I want to try the same foundation with a sponge instead. As for the lip products, I loved layering the lipstick with the lip balm. I think it looked really good. The lip balm came off really quickly. Of course, it's not going to have really long lasting power, but I love the shine it gave to the lips. And this lipstick actually lasted so well. It lasted through eating, it lasted through drinking, and also when it started to wear off, it just faded into this really nice stain. So it didn't get patchy, it didn't get crusty on the lips. So I think this is a really nice product and they had quite a few shades to choose from as well. So as always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.